Hello and welcome to the Eric Hamadeka Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce joined by Stevenson Track and Field Head Coach Eric Hamadeka. And Coach, um, busy week for you guys. I'm starting off uh, midweek. You found out uh, the first um, regional rankings came out and you were ranked uh, second on both the men's and women's side. That's kind of a testament to the depth that we've talked about. Did you have on both sides this year? Um, just talk a little, a little bit about you know, what it means to be ranked and you know, kind of that honor for the program. Yeah, it was really exciting for us to hear that, um, especially the week before the preseason rankings came out and we weren't ranked. I was kind of shocked at first, you know, knowing what the team that we did right. have. And then after a couple of performances came out that were calculated, you know, starting the year off number two on both sides is really important for me, especially because it shows that we have the depth on both men's and the women's side and that both programs are growing at the same rate rather than one taking off and the other kind of sacrificing. So I think that this shows a really good job of the kids really working hard on both sides and the coaching staff making sure that we're getting quality athletes in on both the men's and women's side. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, this weekend, Friday, Friday night and Saturday, you were up at uh, Bucknell for meet up there. We had a lot of Division One and Division Two programs in addition to some Division Three schools as well. And um, you guys, like you said, maybe Friday night started off a little slow, but Saturday you competed pretty well. Uh, talk about the meet on Saturday. Yeah, so I'm um, going into this weekend. This is the first time that we actually had a two-day meet, getting us kind of ready for the conference championship since that's a two-day meet. Uh, we kind of saw the the week catch up to us, you know, classes started this week for us, so kids were kind of tired Friday night, but they turned around, which was what we wanted them to do, going into Saturday, and had some really quality performances across the board. Yeah. Um Two uh, two areas that stood out to me were obviously the relay teams on both sides, and then obviously in the um, in the multi events uh, we had a pretty good show. And so, discuss, obviously the men's relay set a school record. So, uh, talk a little bit about that performance. Yeah, that's an event that you know we're really trying to go after this year. We have a lot of talent, we have a lot of depth, we have almost ten guys that can run that event. And for them to put down that time this early on in the season was really great. You know, we made a couple of changes on that, uh, putting Kendall Belzer first, putting Matt second. Idris, we knew was going to be a strong leg at third, and then we ended up moving Vlad from the B team up to the A team, and that worked out really well for us. And same thing on the women's side. You know, we had a couple of people that we had to scratch out there, and we threw a couple of people in that never ran it before. And to open up the year with that type of time on the women's side was really exciting. Yeah, and even in the in the men's side, even the B team, I think, still placed fifth, I believe. Yeah, you know, and that's that again. That shows the depth that we had. That we have those ten guys. They ran like three thirty two or something like that, which you know would probably be the second ranked team in our conference right now behind right. Our, our A team. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, you know, some some strong performance like, and the multi, you know, Rachel and then um, uh, Richie Case. Yeah, Rachel and Richie are, are great. You know, those two freshmen, they work really, really well with each other, even though, they, you know, the one's doing the hep and one's doing the pent. Uh, work really well with each other. Off to a great start. You know, Rachel's having a little bit of trouble in the long jump. She keeps on fouling out. So, you know, there's another five, six, seven hundred points that she's leaving on the table yeah. there. Um, and then Kimberly Hammond had a really good weekend, too, and she's working well with everyone. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I saw, you know, she had a good performance in the sprints and things like that. Um, so this week you go up, um, you know, you're back in action. You're at Susquehanna this weekend. What are you looking for out of that? Uh, so we're starting to actually begin our taper for some and then others. This is going to be their last chance to try to get into the conference meet or kind of up their position in the rankings. Uh, so, you know, kind of at a crossroads between, you know, certain athletes shutting it down and other athletes just tuning up um, or trying to get to there to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. That conference meet, you know, less than a month away. It's kind yeah. of sneaking up on everybody. Absolutely. All right. Well, Coach, uh, we wish you the best of luck this week, and thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you next week. Great. Thank you. For Eric Kamadeka, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.